Kind of a little bit unnecessary, but there's some people to ask some questions. People often want to know how long did I study Sikhi in India? Uh, how your decision taking Amrit change your life, and will it positively grow in the future? I don't know what that's our last part meant. Um, so I studied this Sikhi in India for about a year, but really, to be honest, I was right at the beginning of Sikhi when I got into it. So all I got to learn in India was Santhya. I was just about lucky enough to be able to read Guru Granth Sahib Ji by the time I got back. Not only San, not Santhya of the whole of Guru Granth Sahib Ji, but just Santhya of my nickname. Because I was right at the big fresh into Sikhi, I was lucky that I went straight to India uh, instead of being involved in the Western Sangat. The Western Sangat is more focused, is less upon development, more upon hanging out with people. And I think I was lucky that I went out of that Sangat straight away. Because a lot of my of friends that I knew in the UK, they might have been Amritari for many years, but they didn't really actually learn Santhya properly. Because there's so many things that you can do with friends that you can't do. If you haven't got any friends, when I was in India, you can just get on with learning. So I was lucky in that way. Um, obviously taking Amrit very early, as a form of Munna, going straight to Amrit, did change my life quite dramatically. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I had to leave everything behind. But I was lucky that because I was in India, I could make those adjustments uh, in my own time because my, my normal friends, my normal Sangat wasn't there.